is TRT required after a vasectomy? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Okay, let's understand the mechanism of what testosterone replacement therapy is, and then let's discuss what a vasectomy is first and foremost. And I think before we even get into answering this question, I think the viewer is going to be able to answer it for themselves. Your testicles are responsible for two primary, and I'm, I'm okay, there may be some secondary or subcategories. However, the primary focus of testicular function in men occurs in two types of cells. You have Sertoli cells and you have Leydig cells. Leydig cells are essentially responsible for the production of the predominant male hormone, the androgen testosterone. Sertoli cells are responsible for a process called spermatogenesis, which is a fancy term for producing sperm. Now, while we know we have the tropic hormones coming out of the pituitary gland, known as gonadotropins because they act on the gonads, this is specifically LH, or luteinizing hormone, and FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone. In men, specifically, because in women they act slightly different on the ovaries, but in men, follicle-stimulating hormone stimulates the Sertoli cell receptor to generate sperm production. Sperm production does require intratesticular endogenous testosterone as well as aromatization into 17 beta estradiol intratesticularly. I know that's a long phrase, but if you stop and think about it for a minute, it'll make sense. Why is this important? Because when we introduce an exogenous testosterone administration, we're introducing this directly into systemic circulation. Okay? It is becoming an endocrine hormone, which is what testosterone is, only rather than having some aromatization occur intratesticular, such as when it is produced endogenously prior to the spillover into serum, we're introducing it directly into the serum. This greatly will impact the level of intratesticular aromatization. So your estradiol levels in your testicles are going to be reduced. This is why HCG has a good fertility effect because while it does not mimic FSH, which is required for spermatogenesis, it does mimic LH. And when you cause intratesticular endogenous production of testosterone, you're also promoting intratesticular aromatization, which helps the Sertoli cells produce more sperm, right? Now, I always tell guys, if you want the optimal fertility boost on TRT, understand that HCG in and of itself may help. However, adding in an FSH analog is going to help significantly more. And for that, we use a compound called human menopausal gonadotropin or HMG. So when you use those combined, uh, you're going to have a LH and an FSH mimicker working together synergistically, and you're going to compound the effect or ability to produce more sperm. Now, what is a vasectomy? Vasectomy simply is cauterizing a tube called the vas deferens, which leads sperm from the testicles to mix in with seminal fluid prior to ejaculation. So a vasectomy does not negate a man's ability to ejaculate. It does not affect the prostate. It does not affect the seminal vesicles or the process, it simply is, for lack of a better term, shooting blanks, right? So after a vasectomy, you're usually gonna go back in about four to eight weeks, and they're gonna do a sperm analysis, and they're gonna ensure that the process has worked successfully and no sperm is being passed through. This has absolutely nothing to do with latex cell production or latex cell activity for testosterone production in your testicles. Your vasectomy will not impact your testosterone levels, your testosterone levels will not impact the efficacy of your vasectomy. There are two mutually exclusive processes and there are two mutually exclusive aspects of cellular function. They occur in the same gland in different departments, if you will. So your vasectomy will not require TRT. TRT will have nothing to do with requiring or not requiring a vasectomy. If you are deficient in testosterone or estradiol or any of these hormones that are deemed viable to replace via treatment, you're a TRT candidate. If you want to ensure that you are no longer fertile, TRT in and of itself is not the answer to infertility. While it may, and I say may because everyone is different, it may reduce, not eliminate, but greatly reduce or partially reduce fertility in most men, it is not a birth control method. And there is an old saying, what do you call a guy on testosterone who feels he's infertile, 
call him dad because he's going about it the wrong way and he's, he's going to have uh, to find out the hard way, right? You want to ensure you're infertile, you get a vasectomy. You want to fix an androgenic deficiency, you go on TRT. Mutually exclusive, never confuse the two together. So hopefully okay. that's, uh, that's clear enough. I know it's a lot of information in a short period. Should be very clear. Thanks, Gil. Hey, thank you for watching. And if you want to learn a ton more about hormone optimization, do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails and I'll see you there. Thank you.